Okay, right, we have not a lick this week. It's a, how many bars? 18 bar solo, there you go. Um, so this is sort of using that emotional sort of sense that we've been going through over the past three weeks, I think it is. Um, so I've created a solo, not using the licks we've done, but giving you something different so you can try and apply all of those licks into, well, just combine them with this if you really want to. So you should be able to make a solo up out of those licks that you've had over the past three weeks. Um, this one, as I said, is 18 bars. So there's a lot going on. Um, there's a lot of movement going from shape five to one to two into shape three of the blue scales using this double stop bend all the way up to shape one again on the octave and then running down a natural minor scale. So you can pick up a lot from this. If you don't want to do the whole thing, you can take, take out just micro licks from within. So treat it as a lick Friday, solo Friday, but with areas that you can just sort of draw from and take out what you need as you want it. So you don't have to tackle the whole thing. But if you do like it, please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing if you haven't done so already. And um, yeah, that's it. Visit the socials and visit my shop on my website, dansguitar.com forward slash shop, I guess. But dansguitar.com, you can have the tab on there as well. It's all free. Don't worry about that. And visit my Patreon page to support this channel. And here comes the lick. <laughs> There it is. It's good, isn't it? It's got 18 bars of fun. So if you did like it, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and visit all the socials and share it on your socials as well. And comment below with stuff you may like to see on this channel. And just please subscribe if I haven't said that already. There you go. Thanks to all my patrons. You can find a tab free on my website. And that's about it. So I'm going to leave you with a breakdown. Yeah, here it is. Here we go. This runs through. The first part is through three different octaves over three shapes of that pentatonic. So using the same notes, just three different octaves. Um, so you're starting with shape five into shape one and then into shape two. OK, so the first part is a grace note, which is a note which you kind of don't really hear, but you emphasize to get to your destination of this case, the fifth fret. So it's the fifth fret is the note we're trying to get to but from that third fret so very quick you hear that hammer on that's what you want to aim for on the beat you almost don't really notice the third fret but if it wasn't there or you, know, you do notice it if it's not there put it that way um, so you've got your third fret hammer on to the five and then the next two strikes of that fifth fret, the A note, you're going to add vibrato, all important to give it that emotive sense. Um, then you go to the third fret on the A string, and then it's three, five, three. Then you do the same thing an octave higher. So this is in shape one now, box one, and we've got the five as the grace note. So that's five to the seven on the D string, and then it's five on the G, so that's the C note, and then 7, 5 from that, you can see that on the tab, so, and then you go to box 2, which is going to the 8th and 10th frets, but the same lick, just an octave higher, so, so the important thing is to remember to put that vibrato in, it really does help flavour it up, that all important salt and pepper. Um, so you've got your eight grace note, hammer on to ten. Two more strikes of that ten to the eight on the first string with that vibrato, obviously. And then it's eight, ten, eight. So you pick that or pull it off, it's up to you. 
that's the sort of easier part of the lick. Um, none of it's really too difficult anyway, but the next part goes into box three of the blues scale. It's an area which you should get used to if you don't already know it, but basically we're pulling off all the way through from 12 to 10 on this first part of the lick, so this is on bar seven. Um, now you want your fingers in place for this if you don't already know how to do those but just try and keep your fingers in place ready to roll into them so that's 12 pull off to 11 pull off to 10 go to 13 second string 10 on the first and then pull off 13 10 second so, okay so that's straightforward enough then we've got a really nice double stop sort of bend thing going on so a little bit iron made and run to the hills but we have 13th fret on the second string and 10th fret on the first string. So this is your first bend, this is every beat. Then we're moving, that's in box three, moving up to box four, which is 15 is the only one you're gonna bend and then 12 is staying where it is. So you're striking both strings but only bending one string basically. Um, then we're into, where are we then? 18, yep, that is. So we've got 18th fret on the second string is the bending note and then 15 on the first string. And then the last one is the 20th fret on the second string which is the one you're bending. And then the 17th fret stays where it is on the first string. Now you're going to hold that so as much as you can and possibly add vibrato on top which will give it that all needed so it called discordant flavor which really powers it through um, after that bend so after you've done those anyway one thing you'll notice actually before we move on is I kind of rake into my bends quite a lot so I'm not just precisely hitting the strings that I want, I'm actually using that and then coming off of the rakes I'm putting palm muting basically the strings until I get to the point where I want to hear that note. So and I rake down into that point, take the rake off as I bend up. There you go, it's a technique for you to try if you don't already know it. Um, so as you've done that 20th fret for a whole bar and a half actually roughly, um, we bend up and let's so it's like down to the 20th fret with vibrato then. So that's in bar, hang on a minute, can't see it from there, bar 10. Um, then at the end of bar 10, you've got a bend up, let down. Going to the first string, 19th fret. So notice the fingers I'm using. And notice this finger stopping any strings above ringing out and creating unwanted noise. So I'm using the third finger to bend the 20th fret on bar 10. I bend up, let down. And then it's bar 11, you've got the 19th fret. Semitone bend with your second finger. And then vibrato on the 12th fret. Going down to the 17th, back up to 19th. So just two fretted notes. So those two bars from bar 10, you would have... Basically that leads us into bar 13, which is the 20th fret, bend up, full tone and let down. Okay. And then that's basically coming down 19 to 17. So that's like, like that. Um, and then 19th fret on the 14th bar is gonna be a semitone bend again. Like that. And then to the 17, with vibrato if you want. I don't actually know if I'll put that in or not, but anyway. Um, then we've got 20, 17 second string. And then there's a descending run through a natural minor scale. Oh my God. Right, which is, I'll play it for you. You've got. Do that again. So it's kind of missing out some of the notes along the way, but basically you end up with a hammer on pull off um, from 17 to 18 second string to 19, 17, 16 on the third, 17 fourth to the 19, 17, 15, 14 on the fourth string, 
and then 15, 14, 12 on that fifth string to finish with. That is your lick. Um, I'll try and play it slow for you because it's quite an epic, not really a lick, is it? It's a solo, there we go. That is your combination of licks creating the solo. Here we go, slowly-ish. So it goes two, one, two, three. thought it would right back to me right we're at the end good 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 um so what can we say about it well quite a lot in many ways but i won't because it just means this video is longer um so basically you've got three octaves to start with going through three different boxes of the pentatonic and then running into a blue scale running up a double stop bending thing going all the way up kind of mixing through the pentatonic shapes as we go and then descending with a natural minor run. So there is a lot there to take on board over the next week and it gives you so much to learn over the weekend. With that in mind, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. Visit the shop for all the mugs, t-shirts, new designs coming through soon and um, Patreon for your jamming track for this lesson and the past three as well. There you are. Right, I'll see you all soon. Bid you farewell. Have a wonderful slow blues weekend.